Hello everyone and welcome to this Dungeon Editor tutorial for Legend of Grimrock 2. In this tutorial we're gonna have a look at boss fights. Uh, if you've been following the series you know that we are slowly carving out a dungeon within the editor and prior to starting this recording uh, I created this room and this room is where I'm going to host my boss fight. If we take a look at the room it's nothing special it's just a big room and I got these three sets of uh, pillars where I'm gonna place my bosses inside. Uh, this fight will be a, a states fight, meaning that we will start off by fighting two bosses and when they are dead we will trigger another boss fight for the final uh, for the final fight. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place a floor trigger sorry, a floor trigger right here when the party enters the room. Uh, this floor trigger can only be triggered by the party so I will disable by item and disable by monster since I want the party to walk over it and start the fight. I also am only going to have it uh, activate once so I will enable disable self so the party walks over it it will trigger and only one time. And The first thing this trigger is going to do is it's going to close the door behind us. So we added a connector and we simply told the connector to close the door uh, behind the party. Uh, the next thing is going to do, or the next thing we are going to do, is to play some monsters. And let's just go to the monsters. I'm going to place a skeleton commander uh, here and another one over here. Uh, but in the middle I'm going to place a Medusa. This this fight will be a lot harder than my starting party uh, can handle but we will simply cheat and kill them in the editor. Uh, there's one thing to note about the commanders is that they have the ability to summon undead and I'm going to disable that on both of them since since I'm going to place these guys within a force field and force field let's place all these three guys in a force field uh, if the skeleton commanders uh, have the ability to summon undead they can summon them even though they're inside a force field so they will just summon them around the force field and the whole room will get flooded with undead guys even before the fight begins so that's not what I want so if we take a look at what we've done so far, we walk in, the door slams shuts behind us, and we have these three monsters uh, inside these force fields. So let's hook this up to a boss fight. So how do we do that? We add a entity into the map called boss fight, like this. And since this is a two-stage fight, I will add two. The first entity I'm going to give a name, and I'm simply going to call it boss fight brothers for the skeleton brothers uh, we have some options over here and one of them is boss name this is this is the name that gets displayed above the health meter of the boss fight so in this case it's simply going to be brothers scrim like this we have the ability to auto deactivate the boss fight but uh, I'm gonna check that off and then we have the ability to change the music when it activates and I'm gonna choose boss fight on that. The same thing over here we have boss fight which we are going to call boss fight Medusa. The name above the health bar is going to be Medusa. Uh, disable auto deactivate and I'm going to have the same music just playing. So uh, then we need to add a script entity into the map and we are going to create two functions the first function will simply be called start uh, brothers boss fight something like this and the second entity is or the second function is going to be start medusa boss fight I will place these scripts uh, on the Grimrock forum and 
put a link in the description of the video so you can grab the code. Uh, inside the first function, we need to get the name of the boss fight entity, which was boss fight brothers. We are going to add that into here. So it's going to be boss fight brothers boss fight, like this. And we are going to add a monster. So let's add a monster. And the monster we're going to add is the skeleton commander one. So now we have added this guy into the boss fight, like this. This is a monster. This is a new thing with uh, with the scripting language of Grimrock 2, is that we need to define what entity we are calling. So the boss fight brothers is a boss fight entity, so we need to say that. And we are going to add a monster. We need to say that we are adding a skeleton commander 2, and he's a monster. So and his name is Skeleton Commander 2. So now we have added both the brothers to the fight, meaning that their total health will be the, uh, the, the, the total bar of the boss fight, or their health will accumulate to the, to the health bar. Uh, then comes the last part, which is simply to take the boss fight entity and activate it. Activate, like this. We need to do the same thing with the Medusa. We need to take the name of the Medusa boss fight, like this. Boss fight Medusa. And this is a boss fight entity. We're going to add a monster. And that monster is the name of the Medusa, which is simply Medusa 1. And Medusa 1 is a monster, like this. Uh, then we need to do the same thing. We need to activate the, the boss fight. I'm simply going to copy this and say that I'm going to activate like this. So these are the two functions that we need to start the fight. We are adding the monster to the boss fight entity. Uh, so that will be the health bar. That's the, the monsters that get counted into the health bar. And we are going to activate the boss fight at the same time. So, let's go over this. The party walks over here, they step on the plate, the plate closes the door behind them, the plate also deactivates the force field around the first commander, and it will deactivate the force field around the second commander, and we will call on the brothers boss fight. So. When we walk in here, these guys get these force fields will get disabled, the commanders will get loose, the boss fight will start, and they will get added to the health bar of the boss fight. So uh, when when we kill these guys, we need to we need to keep a count on how many are left. So let's place a counter inside this, and I'm going to put the counter value to two since we have two commanders and I'm going to choose the first skeleton commander and I'm going to add a connector to him an on die connector so when he dies I want him to decrement this counter the same thing for his commanding brother here I want him to decrement this counter when he dies so what we are doing here is simply the first commander dies this goes from two to one the second commander dies, this goes from 1 to 0 and will get triggered and when this gets triggered we want to deactivate the boss fight brothers we want to deactivate the force field around the Medusa setting her loose but we also want to start the Medusa boss fight like this and of course when we kill the Medusa on die hook for her, we want her to deactivate the Medusa boss fight, and let's open up the uh, the port callis so so the poor party can step out. So I think we're ready to hit play. Uh, my party, like I said before, is uh, they don't even have weapons, so 
So I'm gonna cheat my way out of this. So let's step into the room. And we can see the boss fight triggering. The commanders are loose. And we have the brother scream uh, health bar here over it. So when I kill the first brother, we can see that the health bar went down to half. Since the health bar is their cumulative health. I'm gonna kill the second brother. And the Medusa is free. Whoa, he's trying to shoot me. And let's kill the Medusa. The music changes back. And the boss fight is over. The door is open. So, this is it. This is how we create a simple boss fight. Uh, I'm not the scripting genius, so <laughs> I'm sure that some guys will come up with, a, with pretty good scripted fights where where a lot of things can happen, but this is just a short example of uh, what what we can do. Uh, yeah, what we can do with these boss fight entities and how to use them. Uh, the code for these scripts, uh, I will paste them on the Grimrock forum and put a link to that thread in the video description. So, uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.